Balancing the DJI RS3 Pro is super important, not just for this gimbal, but for every single gimbal out there. If you don't properly balance your gimbal, it could result in lower battery life because the motors are working over time to compensate for that imbalance. It could potentially shorten the life of the motors itself and eventually ruin it. And your footage could end up having that shaky or wobbling effect in the footage itself because the gimbal isn't properly balanced. So let's dive right into it. I have the RS3 Pro and over here I have the Canon C70 with the Sigma 18-35 cinema lens. Before you begin to balance there are a couple super important things that you need to do. If you're using a longer setup like I am right here, you might want to get a longer base plate. The one I'm using is the Small Rig DJI base plate. And the reason for that is generally you want your base plate's midpoint to be align with the midpoint of your whole setup. So if you have a longer setup like I do, my midpoint of this whole setup is probably right around here. And so I want that to align straight with the midpoint of the base plate. You could potentially get away with using the included DJI base plate, but I feel like it's a little bit short, especially with a longer setup like I have right here. If I place it like right next to each other, you can see the midpoint of that DJI base plate isn't exactly aligned with the midpoint of my camera setup. And because of the weight distribution of a longer or heavier setup, the shorter DJI base plate might not give you enough room to balance it on the gimbal. I also really like base plates that have two screws for you at the bottom to secure it onto the camera itself versus just having one screw and having the camera shift its weight around. In addition to the base plate, you also wanna attach other accessories like a follow focus, any sort of cables, uh, flip out the LCD screen, make sure you have batteries in there already ND filters, microphones, and anything else that you might want to attach on the camera before you actually go and balance. Now, if you're using a zoom lens where the barrel of the lens zooms in and out, you want to zoom in halfway before you start balancing. So for example, I'm on the 2470 right here. I'm going to zoom all the way to 50 millimeters. And 50 millimeters is the halfway point for pretty much the 24 to 70 lens. And this way, when you balance at the 50 millimeter mark, you are compensating for the zooming out and also zooming all the way in. If you simply just balance it at the 24 millimeter end where the lens is completely all the way in, then when you zoom in to 70 millimeters, you're gonna make the motors work extra hard to compensate for that weight redistribution. So now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, we can actually start balancing the gimbal. So now I have the gimbal unfolded and ready to balance. Now I'm gonna start mounting my camera onto the gimbal itself. And I'm gonna make sure that this lever right here is pushed backwards so that it is unlocked and I can slide the base plate right through. Once the camera is on the gimbal, I'm going to lock this base plate lever just like that. And the first axis that we're going to balance is going to be the tilt axis right here. I'm gonna hold one hand on the camera and then on the other hand, I'm going to unlock the tilt axis so that the camera doesn't just fall right over. The first step is to tilt the camera all the way up and see where it's going to fall. If it falls forward, that means it is too bottom heavy. If it falls backwards towards you, it's going to be too top heavy. And you're going to adjust the weight distribution by uh, unlocking this little knob right here and then simply sliding it up the mounting bracket or down the mounting bracket. And if I let go right now, it's going to fall forwards. It's gonna fall away from me, which means that it is bottom heavy. So what I'm gonna do is just simply adjust the weight so it's still falling forwards. And once you have the camera completely still where it's not falling backwards or forwards, that means the first part of the tilt axis is completely balanced and you're going to lock the knob right here. Now the next step is to balance the base plate. Right now, as you can see, the camera is falling forwards really, really fast, which means it is too front heavy. If the camera, if I let go and the camera falls backwards towards me, that means it's too back heavy. So what I'm gonna do is unlock this lever right here to adjust the base plate. I'm gonna push it back and see where it falls. It's still falling forward. And right there looks to be uh, completely balanced. If the camera isn't falling forwards or isn't falling backwards, that means the base plate is completely balanced and I'm going to go ahead and lock the lever again. So now that I have adjusted the base plate, this tilt axis can go out of balance. And so now it looks to be a little bottom heavy. So I'm gonna adjust. Cool. So now that I have the camera completely uh, still when it's facing upwards, that means the uh, mounting bracket 
part of the tilt axis is completely balanced. And again, I'm just going to uh, tighten up this knob down here to make sure that it's not going to shift or anything like that. And I'm gonna just double check again to make sure that everything is completely balanced. I'm gonna set it to the middle and it looks like it's tilting uh, forwards right now. So that means that the uh, camera is a little bit too front heavy. I'm going to unlock the base plate again, and I'm just gonna use this knob right here to do some fine tune adjustments. So it's falling forward, so I wanna shift it backwards ever so slightly. So just a little bit, a little bit more, and right there, you can tell that it is completely balanced because it's not moving anywhere. I'm going to lock the lever and just double check. This is good and this is also good. So with that, I'm going to lock the tilt axis again and make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. So the next axis that we're going to balance is going to be the roll axis in the back right here. And again, I'm going to hold the camera as I unlock the axis to make sure that it doesn't just fall um, onto the side. When the camera is facing you, if the camera is tilting and falling off to the left side, it is too left heavy. If it's falling to the right side, that means it's too right heavy. And all you're gonna do is push in the opposite direction of where it's falling. I'm gonna move this handle out of my way first before I start balancing. And I'm going to unlock the lever and I'm going to just push in the opposite direction of which way it's falling. It's falling to the left, so it's too left heavy. I'm going to push towards the right side. One tip I have for you is if you're noticing that it's super duper hard to push on the axis, use one hand and support the weight of the camera. And that way the weight of the camera isn't dragging onto the axis itself, making it a little bit harder to balance. So I'm going to push up onto the camera itself and then I'm just going to push. And now it's much easier to adjust the axis. Right now it is falling off to the right. So I'm gonna push back to the left and right there is perfectly balanced. If the camera isn't tilting left or tilting right, um, then it is perfectly balanced. And I'm going to go ahead and lock the lever again. Just making sure after I lock it, I'm gonna make sure that it's not moving anywhere and it's not. So I'm going to lock the axis itself, make sure that it's not going anywhere as I balance the last axis. Now the last axis to balance is going to be the pan axis down here. I'm gonna start by unlocking the pan axis and I'm gonna take the whole thing and just tilt it towards the left side. Now if the camera is swinging counterclockwise, that means it is too front heavy. And if it's swinging clockwise, that means it's too back heavy. And you just need to push the axis in the opposite direction where it's too heavy. So for example, right now, my camera is too front heavy because it is spinning counterclockwise. I'm going to unlock the lever for the pan axis and just pull it backwards here and see if it tilts when I tilt it off to the left side. And if it doesn't tilt, if it stays completely still like it is right now, that means it is completely balanced. So I'm gonna lock it in place and make sure, okay, it is not. So it is still too front heavy. I'm going to adjust ever so slightly, lock it in. It is still a little bit too front heavy. So I'm going to unlock and then just ever so slightly pull it back a little bit, lock. And now you can tell that it is completely balanced because as I tilt it, it is not moving or going anywhere. And once you have the pan axis completely balanced, the whole gimbal now is also completely balanced. So now I'm going to unlock everything and just double check again to make sure everything is good to go, not moving or anything like that. There you go. And that to me looks to be a very balanced gimbal. Okay, that's it. That's how you balance the DJI RS3 Pro. If you have any other questions, leave it in the comments down below. If you like this video, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for more filmmaking content. Until the next one, my name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Bye.